15 years. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? But for those with a strategy and a mind for overcoming challenges, 15 years can reshape history. Eurochem was founded in 2001 at a time when the majority of industrial assets in Russia, following the tumultuous period of the 90s, were in dire need of investments and strategic vision. As the company's founders set out acquiring what would become the largest fertilizer producer in Russia, it was already clear that profitability and accountability worked best together. But the task of raising efficiency in production in order to compensate for years of underinvestment was not easy. The first five years of Eurochem's history were spent on the consolidation and upgrades of assets and capacity. At the heart of Eurochem, the acquisitions of the Nova Moskovsky Azot and Nevinomiski Azot nitrogen plants, followed by Phosphorit and Belarychinsk Phosphate plants and the Kovdorsky Gok mining assets would create a solid platform for growth. With production upgrades and targeted efficiency investments underway, the group continued to develop its vertically integrated business model with the addition of an efficient logistics function, essential to ensure the uninterrupted supply of raw materials and finished products. The following years saw Eurochem acquiring distribution operations in Ukraine and southern Russia, assets in the port of Murmansk, a liquids terminal in Estonia, and the launch of its 2.3 million ton Tuapse terminal on the coast of the Black Sea. The first of a series of capacity expansion programs came online with Novo Moskovsky Azot, becoming the largest manufacturer of urea in Europe, while the feed phosphate capacity at Lefosa was doubled. Towards the end of the decade, a series of investments in potash mining rights took shape on their way to becoming some of Russia's largest investment projects and the world's first greenfield potash project in decades. It is also during these years that Eurochem set the foundation for achievements beyond production like investing in the economic development and social infrastructure wherever it was present and creating charitable programs that are today widely recognized as the best in the Russian chemical sector. Over the years, hockey became the company's sport, growing with every winter that passes the 2016 edition of the Eurochem International Junior Hockey Tournament boasts 12 teams from 7 countries, including Russia, Kazakhstan, Finland, Lithuania, Germany, Belgium and Switzerland all competing for the cup. As the company built on its successes, an educational program was put forth to support Eurochem's future graduate requirements. To this day, substantial investments continue to be made in school programs, higher education training, internships and scholarship programs. In just 10 years, Eurochem had already created what many failed to realize in a lifetime. The next phase of Eurochem's history saw the company expand globally and with the start of the development of its Volga Kali and Usolsky projects move closer to starting its potash production. With the stated goal of becoming one of the world's top five largest fertilizer companies, Eurochem is known for being ambitious and understandably represents one of the most attractive growth stories in the sector. The Volga Kali potash project is the first development of its kind to be undertaken in Russia in over 40 years. Once operational, it will provide employment opportunities to a more than 5,000 strong team, producing close to 5 million tons of potash per year. To do things right, Eurochem is constructing social infrastructure to support communities around Volgokali, its employees and their families. With strong support from regional and state authorities, the development of the Oak Grove Village and the Eastern District of neighboring Kotelnikova includes more than 90,000 square meters of space with residences, kindergartens, schools, clinics, a hospital, as well as a cultural center and recreational complex. This investment project has become one of the best examples of public-private partnerships in Russia. Further east, closer to the Ural Mountains in the forests of Russia's traditional potash country, lies Usolsky Potash, Eurochem's other potash project. With a capacity of close to 4 million tons of potash per year, supported by over 2.5 billion tons of estimated ore, the Usolsky Potash plant will provide work for more than 3,000 employees. Like Volga Kali, a new residential area for future plant employees will be built along with a full range of social infrastructure. Together, Eurochem's potash projects represented investments of more than $6 billion. 
Further north, in Russia's Yamal region, the group added natural gas production to its business model with the acquisition of Sivarneft Urengoy. While looking beyond Russia and already planning for potash, the company acquired Eurochem Antwerpen in Belgium and Eurochem Agro in 2012, with regional offices in Germany, Spain, Italy, Greece, Mexico, France, Turkey, Singapore, and China, it allowed the group to expand its global presence. And with continued expanding of its distribution network, it followed with the 2015 acquisition of Bentry, a US-based distribution company. To feed its growing production capacity and expanding distribution reach, the group made further investments in mining with the development of phosphate rock mining in Kazakhstan and the expansion of operations at Kovdorsky Gok. In nitrogen, the construction of a new ammonia plant in Russia began in 2015 called Eurochem Northwest, a 1 million ton capacity ammonia plant and one of possibly five new ammonia urea plants to be built over the next 10 years by Eurochem in Russia, the United States and Kazakhstan. Along with growing its business and becoming more global, Eurochem increased its social responsibility and engagement, especially in the field of environmental protection. Rational use of water resources, control of emissions, as well as waste and water protection. From the onset, these were the priorities set for the group and its management system. So far, environmental initiatives have yielded impressive results. And to think, this is just the beginning. Production flexibility and a wide range of more than a hundred unique products provide unique opportunities to adapt to market requirements. We have built a world-class company with a reputation for quality, efficiency and growth. If you think we accomplished a lot in the last 15 years, wait till you see what we've planned for the next 15.